Davies. Happy Fury Friday! And we're actually on the Fury. And guess what? Harvest is over. We are done. But we have some, some things to talk about. Number one, we have the new levers on. I don't know if you guys can see those or not. We have the new levers on. Um, for all you naysayers out there, it's like 45 degrees. I'm out here riding down the highway. I've got no chaps. Hashtag no chaps. I got some long johns on underneath my jeans. Feeling good there. I've got my heated liner on underneath my jacket, even though I can't plug it into this bike yet. But speaking of the cold weather coming, that's kind of what we need to talk about. So cold weather's coming, and we are going to take this bike, put it in the shop, and then we're going to do some stuff to it. If I put it out there on YouTube to, to, to ask people what they would do to it, and I've had a couple responses. Some say lower it, some say put a fat tire kit on it, which, yeah, that would be cool. Miss Stevie said we need to put a suicide shift on it, but might be pretty tough to let other people ride it for Fury Friday <laughs> then if we we're like hey go out and ride this Fury oh by the way you're gonna have to learn how to how to shift a suicide shift yeah it'll be all right go ahead some of them said go ride it but okay here I am I'm riding it but it's gonna come a time when when snow and ice is on the ground I won't be able to ride it there there's some things we want to do mostly like I said cosmetically but there are some some other things that we want to do that there's going to be some things that we can't afford to do, you know what I mean? But hey, everybody go sign up for Patreon. <laughs> Link in the description. And then, uh, who knows, maybe we'll be able to do a lot of that other cool stuff. Like taking the motor apart and having it powder coated. That would be cool. But the new levers, the new levers are perfect. The I love how I can adjust where the clutch grabs in the friction zone because typically I like it to grab uh, relatively soon from when you start letting it out from the grip. Some people like it when it's clear out at the end but I like it to grab for relatively soon. And with this, you just flip this red switch here and I mean you can, you can adjust where the, the, the friction zone is at. So yeah, you don't you don't have to reach for them anymore. Um, before you had to reach like clear out here to get to it, but now they're they're just right there. It's it's cool. It's working out great. But there's the question: What's the coldest weather that you've ever ridden in? The coldest we ever rode in was quite a few years ago. We trailered our bike to Arizona to Phoenix, which. I say bike because Miss Stevie was still riding with me at the time. And we rode into to California to go to the coast from there. Well, the first day um, after we left Arizona, we, we rode up around Joshua Tree and it started to rain like crazy. But then the temperature also dropped like crazy and it was down into like the mid 30s. So we stopped in Mojave that night. When we stopped and we walked over to Denny's to get something to eat, the, 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 the bank or whatever that was right around there said it was 28 degrees. So, I mean, that was cold and up around in the mountains and stuff like that. It got, it got chilly, you know? But that day that we rode from Joshua Tree to Mojave, that was the coldest we ever rode through. The coldest long distance we ever rode through, I guess. We've done some some uh, reindeer rides and stuff like that around here. Um, and, you know, 15, 16 degree weather, but we stayed in Lincoln, you know. Well, I took my bike to Lincoln when it was warmer, the place I was storing it at the time, and they said, hey, we're going to go do this Candy Cane Lane ride, which Candy Cane Lane is in Lincoln. They put up candy canes in the wintertime around Christmas time. And we, we rode the Candy Cane Lane, but then we went right back to where to where I was storing my bike. And, you know, it was cold, but we could bundle all up and stuff. I had coveralls on, and but we never we never got up to any highway speeds or anything like that. But, so I want to know what the coldest is that you guys ever rode through, because I know some of you are going to blow me out of the water. I know this year with heated gear, I'll be able to ride much later into the year than I did last year. 
pretty much as long as there's no, you know, snow and ice on the ground, I should be able to ride. But that's, that's the winter project is the Fury. There's some things I want to change on it. Some things that, uh, that would just, I don't know, just make it cool and fun looking. I want it to stand out. You know what I mean? It's, I, I just, there's, I just want it to be one of a kind. This is my first time riding this with the new mirrors. Trying to get them where I want them ain't, ain't the easiest thing in the world. I mean, they work. They work. They work really well. You can't see out of them anywhere near as well as you could those great big honking chrome things. But uh, I hated them things. So these these actually look cool. So we're already doing a bunch of stuff. I will give you guys a little sneak preview. I'm going to change these switch covers to white. Also, we'll talk about this in another video that'll come out later, but uh, Miss Stevie and I are starting to make plans for our vacation this year, which we have decided we are going to trailer the bikes to one of the coasts. We're not 100% sure which way we're going yet, but we have a really, a really good idea which way we're going to go. And uh, hopefully, if we're going by your neck of the woods, reach out to us and uh, who knows maybe we can maybe we can even do a ride together or something with harvest being over we're gonna do some more live streams uh we've really been slacking on that the patreons are gonna finally get what they've been promised a lot more of it anyway uh because i've been slacking on that like crazy too and with winter coming some of that stuff will be easier some of it will be harder but hopefully we can we can make all that happen but the time change and I oh, I hate going back to regular time I just want to stay on daylight savings time all the time why do they have to switch it it's dumb don't switch it anymore leave us on daylight savings time all the time and, and just let us be done with it in the winter time Miss Stevie could change the color of the house on the outside and I wouldn't even know it until the weekend I leave when it's dark I come home when it's dark that's just the way it is but man I feel really good out here it's like I said it's 45 degrees but I'm sure it's cooled off a little bit more than that but I, uh, I got my Wilson leather gauntlet gloves on which they might be a little bit overkill but my hands aren't cold I got my Harley Davidson uh, shoes on my, they're not really boots they're shoes which I need to do another video on these because these shoes are really comfortable I've got just some generic windproof, really old long johns on underneath my pants. And I got a feeling that if I would actually upgrade to some of the new stuff, that that would make a huge difference because I'm sure it's even better than this. Uh, but yeah, and then I just got, like I said, my, my heated liner is underneath my jacket with the liner in it to stop the wind but I don't have it plugged in because I can't plug it into this bike yet. Also real quick though, I need to give a huge shout out to all the new subscribers. We've had a lot in the month of October, but when we do the live stream, hopefully we have a bunch of you guys show up and do a bunch of interaction with you then too. Cause that's always just an absolute ton of fun. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road.